Do you know that despite popular belief having debt might really help you accumulate wealth, are you aware that using someone else's money, you can go from having nothing to being a millionaire? Many people get afraid when they hear the word debt. Some people tremble so much at the sound of the term that they may even urinate in their pants. In America, the average household owes roughly $96,000. Some people devote their time to listening to financial advisors who warn them that taking on debt is the quickest path to poverty. Many people spend their time researching strategies to pay off their obligations and consider it the worst thing that could happen to their financial situation. They jump from pillar to pillar in an attempt to become debt-free. America has $15 trillion in total consumer debt, of which $1.6 trillion is from student loans. A lot of financial advisors will caution you about consumer debt. These are the expenses you accrue for clothing, beverages, and pleasures like trips, brand new toys, fancy automobiles, etc. The reason why individuals are living paycheck to paycheck is because of this debt. They continue to borrow to maintain their lifestyle, rather than being debt-free. But I have excellent news for you. Are you aware that you can climb the ladder to financial success using this monstrous debt? The middle class and the poor are ignorant of this, which is why the rich continue to get richer while the poor get poorer. Recall that none of them are recommendations for finances. Before committing to any financial assets, conduct your own investigation. Depending on how you use it, debt may either be a good or a negative thing. That's a horrible debt right there, when you take out a loan to replace your car, but never use it for anything that would put money in your pocket. Essentially, what Dave Ramsey is warning people about is borrowing money to buy consumables. He claims that having debt of that nature is the quickest path to impoverishment. If you look at the practices of large corporations such as Apple, Google, At, and T, Facebook, and so on, you will see that various organizations use debt in different ways. To make more money, they go on debt. Through knowledge and experience, they have discovered that using someone else's money to amass fortune is less expensive than using their own. Are you aware that these large corporations pay lower taxes? Naturally, of course. They make more money but pay less, while you make less money but pay more. They are the ones with more money, even though they do not pay as much tax as you may believe. Only because they have perfected the technique of leveraging other people's money to increase their own fortune is this conceivable. In addition to being the CEO of Cardone Capital and a real estate tycoon, Grant Cardone is the proud owner of seven privately owned businesses and a $4 billion portfolio of multifamily projects. He has also written roughly eight business books. Grant Cardone's primary source of wealth was his real estate investment, even though he also made money from the sales of his business books and courses. His real estate company owns properties in the US valued at over $2.7 billion. He's a supporter of growing wealth through debt. He began his investing career by purchasing a Houston single-family home. Up until the family moved out after seven months, he exploited that as an additional source of money. He lost that source of money at that point. He increased his money by purchasing a multifamily property as he advanced in his real estate venture. Grant Cardone had the belief that when he or any other real estate investor obtained a loan to purchase a property, the tenants would furnish the mortgage, and upon the tenants' repayment of the mortgage, he would profit from their rent. He asserts that taking on debt is a must if you want to accumulate riches. You have to learn to use debt, also known as other people's money or OPE, if you want to be rich, stated Grant Cardone. If you know the difference between good and bad debt and how to take on the correct debt for the proper reasons that will increase your wealth, debt may be a useful tool for accumulating wealth. Grant Cardone advises you to ask yourself the following questions before taking out a loan. 1. Can wealth be created by this debt? When you want to borrow any kind of money, this is the first thing you should ask yourself. Grant Cardone defines wealth as having the potential for your loan money to be worth more than it is right now. It is never a good idea to take out a loan for anything that won't increase in value. Instead of being a slave to banks or other financial entities, you borrow money to make money. 2. Does it provide you leverage? The next thing you should consider is whether having money gives you an advantage over other funding options. Businesses frequently utilize debt as a means of avoiding paying excessive taxes. That's the leverage Grant Cardone was referring to. It's a good debt if the money you are going to borrow can lower the amount you have to pay or the cost of what you are going to do. When you take out a loan to buy a building in real estate and subsequently rent it out, you lower your property tax liability and have the opportunity to profit when you sell the structure for more money than you paid when you first bought it. 3. Am I able to value the item I'm buying? This is an equally crucial question to ask as the previous two. It is not worthwhile to take out that loan if you intend to use the money to buy a liability. Never use a loan to buy an asset that is losing value. Always keep an eye out for things that might be worth more than they originally were. 
To put it briefly, confirm that you wish to buy an asset rather than a liability. Using debt to buy junk is the fastest way to go broke, according to Grant Cardone. 4. Is cash flow provided by it? The last thing you should do before finalizing any credit agreement is ask yourself this question. If you are unsure whether the loan will produce cash flow, regardless of your eligibility for it, resolve that portion before receiving the money. It's a beneficial debt to have when you use it to fund a project that will enable you to repay the loan and advance your finances. It is usually advisable to employ borrowed funds for projects that will generate revenues to repay the lender. Don't even consider taking that loan if the majority of these questions are answered negatively because you will soon incur terrible debt. The mistake that financial gurus constantly warn you against is going to happen. In a 2021 video lesson that he posted on his YouTube channel, Grant Cardone employed an analogy. He displayed a large building that he and his real estate crowdfunding partners were going to buy. He explained all of these things that needed to be considered before taking out a loan using that building. Although the building was only valued at $250 million, he predicted that it would increase in value over the course of the next 10 years. Tenants would rent out the building's flats, providing them with a source of income. Because he would be using leverage, taking out a loan to buy the building, the amount of taxes they would have to pay has been decreased. It was worthwhile to take on the debt because it was a way to generate riches. This should be done by everyone before taking out a loan, he advised. The question now is, how can you become as wealthy as the rich who use debt to increase their wealth? Utilize debt to generate funds. This essentially refers to borrowing money to invest in stocks, real estate, or even to launch a business. You would have successfully paid off your debt while enjoying the rewards on your investments if they appreciate in value over time. That's precisely what the wealthy do. Rather than choosing stop financing, they would prefer to take on fresh debt to fund or launch a new business. They realize that employing stock will cost them more when they wish to develop their assets. Therefore, in order to save money, they choose debt. Put an end to your search for sufficient funding. This opportunity won't last long. Utilize debt to grow their companies. Robert Kiyosaki once claimed to have 6,500 properties that brought in money, but he acquired them by taking on debt. In order to expand his real estate company and amass fortune, Grant Cardone also took on debt. He eventually became a millionaire. Despite becoming a multimillionaire, he remained steadfast in his advocacy for the role that debt plays in creating real wealth. They lowered taxes by using debt. According to Grant Cardone, you will pay too much taxes if you don't use debt. Large corporations use debt as a means of avoiding paying excessive amounts of taxes. They would pay less in taxes if they took out a loan to finance a project, buy a house, or grow their business than if they used the funds for the project directly. Are you curious about the various methods in which the wealthy continue to amass wealth? Then subscribe to my channel, where I discuss how to invest, save, and retire like a wealthy person.